Sanford, independent consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. I am consultant number 99760. And before I teach you guys today how to ship through PayPal, I just wanted to tell you that if you are thinking about uh, paparazzi is a business opportunity if you're watching this wondering whether or not you can do this you totally can and I would love to help you I have been actively doing my paparazzi business seriously for about six months and I really haven't tried to build a team because I wanted to make sure that I could sell the product and that I could teach others how to do it effectively I just reached uh, life of the party bronze level, which means I'm kind of a selling rock star in the beginning stages. So I know that I can sell it and I know that I can teach others how to sell it. And I am going to be doing lots and lots of videos to show my growing team how they can properly, effectively, and efficiently do this business. I think um, teaching you guys how to efficiently do the business is just as important as teaching you how to sell the product because we all are busy. We're all busy women and men and we have families and we have lives and we have jobs and, and we have things to do and to teach you guys how to do this effectively I think is really, really important. So again, without further ado, I'm going to teach you guys how to ship through PayPal. So I'm not going to show you my computer screen. Again, obviously, because of, um, you know, privacy issues with my customers and things, but I can talk you through how to do it. So um, we're going to go to the, if you guys are listening, open up a different window, go to the um, paypal.com. You should have your paypal.com account set up. If you don't, um, it's very easy to do. Just go to paypal.com, set up an account, um, link up link up a uh, bank account to it, verify your bank account through your email. It is very easy to do that. Um, if you guys don't, I'm not going to do a video on how to do that because it's so easy, but if you need to, I'm sure there's a video out on YouTube on how to do that. So what you're going to do is when you go to paypal.com and, and um, I did a previous video on how to invoice. So obviously by this point you've invoiced your customer. Now it's time to ship. So you go into and people start paying you, which is the exciting part, because if you download the PayPal app, you can just pop in there and, and see who's paid you and how much money is in your PayPal account. And so um, it's up to you whether or not you want to give free shipping, charge shipping. I personally charge $350 shipping for each order. Um, that's just what I do. That's my personal choice for my business. So. What I'm going to do is when you go to paypal.com and you log in as yourself, you know, enter your username and your password, you log in, it's going to bring up the summary page. So the first thing you see on the summary page is, I might have to look away from the camera for a little bit, so I apologize for that. Um, you have your money available on the left-hand side of your screen. It says money available. Um, so we're doing a shipping video, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to concentrate on shipping right now. Under, on the right hand side of the screen, maybe like in the middle of the screen, you're gonna see um, a box called recent activity. And just underneath that, that word, recent activity, there's a button called ready to ship. So after people have paid and you're ready to ship, you're gonna click on ready to ship. This next screen will bring you to a screen of all the people that are ready to ship. I have a whole bunch. I will do a separate video on how to do bulk shipping, but right now, um, if you're watching this video, you probably knew on my team or somebody else's team, whoever's team you are on, I'm here to help you. Um, so you're probably going to be shipping out one by one at first. Then when you start really getting orders, um, when I first started this business six months ago, I had one or two envelopes going out per week. And now uh, this week I have 30. So I'm definitely doing it right, and I want to teach you guys how to do that. So I'm just going to do one at a time. So X customer up on the top, her name's Michelle. Okay. We're going to ship hers first. So over here on the side, uh, I'm going to show you guys, I have my boxes and um, normally I would kind of have these all in alphabetical order and they kind of are. So in a previous video, I showed you guys how to put the pieces here that they have, but we went ahead and weighed 
So I don't have to weigh now. I've already weighed it. I know that this is a nine ounce package and her, um, her marketing postcard is in there and her piece of candy. I give everybody a piece of candy now. Michelle has two kids that I love and they're actually customers of mine as well. Her uh, son loves the urban men's jewelry and her daughter loves the kids jewelry and the like the tweeny jewelry. So I always put in three pieces of candy because they're all my customers. <laughs> So her package total with her jewelry, her candy, and her marketing card is nine ounces. Okay, so I already know this is nine ounces. I don't have to do any more um, guessing on what to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Michelle and over here where it says print shipping label, you're going to click on print shipping label and then another box pops up you're going to click on print shipping label again okay and that's going to bring up a whole other screen all right now let's talk about shipping labels there's different ways to do it some people use the dymo um, label system i personally do not do that because i use this this is just what i prefer to use so what i do is i buy my um okay, let me get to another screen so i can see what you guys are seeing i buy mine on valuemailers.com valuemailers.com and what I use is the 8.5 times 5.5 half sheet adhesive shipping mailers that's this is what I personally use I buy them on eBay or you can go to valuemailers.com and do it that way too okay now what I do is I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna bring the camera over here so you can just kind of see my my setup Sorry guys. <laughs> so my printer is on the floor. Okay, that's just where it is. It's on the floor because <laughs> it's up on blocks on the floor. So what I do is I have my tray here. This is, this is my printer. You can use any kind of printer you want. And I keep my shipping labels in an envelope under here. So I know I'm going to be doing a bunch of shipping today, so I'm just going to stick a bunch of shipping labels in the printer, okay, and put it back in here, okay, and it's ready to go, all right, so I'm going to bring, bring you guys back up to me. So to ship, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down. I'm, I'm on Michelle's shipping page. All right, under shipping information, what you're going to do, you're going to go into shipping information. It's in the middle of the page where it says carry your name. You're going to click USPS, which is United States Postal Service. If you... Um, use PayPal, you're going to get a discount on shipping. I strongly recommend you use PayPal to do all your invoicing. This just right now, something great might come out next week or the month after that or next year. But for today's purposes, it's February 16th, 2019. I prefer to use PayPal because we get a pretty really, really good um, discount on shipping. So I go down and I click USPS and then under service type, um, I click on that arrow and then I go down to first class mail parcel service and I click two to five days. I click that and then under large package type, I'm going to click package and thick envelope. Now again, we're going to talk about the envelopes. I got these on valuemailers.com and what they are is they are, they are the pink 8.5 by 12 padded envelopes. Now I use these because I market a lot to my customers who got their pink envelope in the mail this week, who loves their jewelry from their pink envelope. And I get a lot of comments in my VIP group about, oh, I can't wait for the pink envelope to come in the mail. And they just love to see the pink envelope. They know it's me and they know they're gonna get some good stuff when the pink envelope arrives. So that's what I do. Maybe you wanna use green or purple or they come in all sorts of different colors, but I use the paparazzi pink. Okay. So then, so now I have USPS 
First class mail parcel service two to five days in package or thick envelope. You can only put up to 16 ounces in this package or thick envelope. Do not put more than 16 ounces in here. It will not let you do it. Don't try to fudge on the weight because they will catch you and send it back. Um, so when then you go and click on package weight. So I have Michelle's envelope here. I have nine ounces. I'm gonna enter nine ounces and then I'm gonna go over to calculate shipping, okay? And it's going to calculate shipping, all right? Now I keep a log. Me, I wanna show you guys, this is what I do because the shipping rates just went up. I keep a log right now of, of shipping rates and nine ounces, 382, yep, it's the same. So I kinda know I don't only keep a log for now just because the shipping rates just went up, but that's just what I said. I already know I'm going to pay 382. So my discount alone through PayPal will cover that. And um, I'm just not worried about the bubble. It's just part of the business costs that I, that I eat. So I'm going to click confirm and pay. Okay. Once I click confirm and pay, it's going to debit the amount of shipping out of my PayPal account. And then another um, screen is going to pop up, and it says you have successfully completed the purchase of a shipping label. You can now print the label. So you're going to want to push print. Push print, and then another screen is going to pop up. This is why you want to do bulk shipping when you have enough to do, because it's kind of tedious to do it all at once. Then that's your actual, um, I use Windows 10, so I don't, I don't know what you guys are doing, but... Um, this is what happens on my computer, then you're going to want to push print and that is going to send it to the printer. It's going to print my shipping label and I'll show you here what it looks like in a second. Then we're going to do one more and then uh, we're going to end the video because you don't need to watch me do all these, but it's printing. Now on my particular computer, what I do is I know that if I put them in this way so I'll use all these and then when I go to print more I'll just turn it around and this label will be blank and this one will be gone I just put it in this way and it'll print out this so obviously but when I do bulk printing so here's my label okay there's my customer that's what my label looks like so what I do is I just take the self-adhesive off and I seal it up. And I take my label and I put it on. Now you could get cutesy around Valentine's Day. Um, I was putting little heart stickers on. Sometimes I just like to put a little heart around their name. Put a little note that says hi. You don't have to do that. I don't always do it. Sometimes I do. It just kind of gives that personal touch. Let your customer know that you love them and you care about them. And that's it. So it's ready to go. Now there's different ways that you can drop this off for shipping. You can get on the USPS website and order a pickup delivery. I personally have a huge white box on my porch that I stick all my orders in and USPS picks them up. Or sometimes I'll just drive them to a mailbox and drop them off or I'll take them to the post office and drop them off. It depends upon when I'm doing my shipping. So, okay, that's it. So let's just do one more real quick and then uh, we'll be done, okay? So let me go to, let's see, on PayPal. Okay, so once I'm at this screen, all right, I just click the back arrow. So after I've printed my label, I just click the back arrow on the PayPal website and it brings up the rest of my customers that need to be shipped. Less the one I just shipped. The next one is Angela. So let's do Angela. Find Angela, here she is. Okay, Angela's 10 ounces. This goes pretty fast. Once you kind of start getting on a roll, go to Angela, print shipping label, click on that, print shipping label. USPS 
First class mail, two to five days. Package or thick envelope, 10 ounces. Calculate shipping cost. Okay, hers is also 382. Click confirm and pay. The next box pops up, you're gonna push print. The next window pops up, you're gonna push print. Your label should pop out. Okay, now I don't do each individual one. I'll, well, I mostly do the bulk printing, but um, if I am doing individually, I will just sit here and do these over and over and just let them spit out on the printer. You know, I'll wait till I have five or six and then I'll put them all on at once. So, so let's get our label. Right. Here's Miss Angela. That's what her label looks like. Put a little heart around her name. Write a little note. You're awesome. Put a little you're awesome on there. And then that's it. Okay, so let me get back to my camera. Thank you for watching. I think later today I'm going to make some other videos on how to do some more cool stuff. And I'm also going to do a tour of my office because I office out of a 10 by 12 room. And I think a lot of people would struggle on officing out of a 10 by 12 room. But everything I do, I do right in here and I utilize my space very well. So I'm going to do a video on how to do that. So make sure you guys check that out. Um... I would love to have you join my team. Again, my consultant number is 99760. I'll put that link down below this YouTube video. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me, okay? Thank you so, so much. Again, my name is Julie Stanford. Bye-bye.